huge letdown after a humiliating 4-0 home loss, Michael Strahan's pre-Dallas Cowboys comments come back to haunt him. As they competed for early control of the NFC East, the Giants welcomed Dallas to town on Sunday night football. But the Giants suffered a 4-0 drubbing at a quickly packing MetLife Stadium, as everything that could go wrong did. A bad snap on third down on New York's opening drive of the game resulted in the Giants trying to kick a field goal, which Cowboys cornerback Noah Igbenogheen ultimately blocked and returned for a touchdown. Cornerback Dayron Bland later that quarter recovered a fumble by running back Saquon Barkley and scored another touchdown for the Cowboys. The Giants entered the locker room trailing 26-0 after an unexpected field goal miss by veteran Graham Gano. It was an offensive night to forget for New York thanks to this, a late fumble and turnover by Isaiah Hodgins and the quarterback Daniel Jones' two early interceptions. Not that the defeat was solely the fault of Jones and company, the defense also had a quiet night, recording no sacks or interceptions. Sadly for Strahan, this occurred the day after he had advised NFL viewers on Fox to don't sleep on the Giants. Terry Bradshaw, Jimmy Johnson, Rob Gronkowski, Howie Long, and Kurt Menefee, in addition to him, were fellow analysts on the program. He also claimed in an Instagram video on Thursday that he was looking forward to seeing how my Giants do and that he can't wait to see him take it to another level in regards to Jones. His promotion of the Giants didn't stop there. His loyalty to the Giants is not surprising given that he played his whole 15-year career with Big Blue, but if this loss is an indication of things to come, this season may put even the most devoted supporters to the test. Fortunately for Strahan, the season has just begun, so the Giants won't have to wait long to right the ship before it veers too far off course. The Arizona Cardinals, who also lost their season opener, will be the opponent for the Giants in Week 2 when they travel to Phoenix. The Cowboys, Washington Commanders, and Philadelphia Eagles all finished Week 1 unbeaten, which unfortunately made the Giants' already difficult division much more difficult.